welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we're taking a look at a 2001 Dodge Dakota. Uh, it's got a check engine light that came on and with these cars if you know the uh, or with uh, this Dodge anyways if you know how to do it the uh, you can turn the ignition key to the on not the start position but on position. Uh, I think it's two times in a row or maybe three times and you leave it there on the second or third time and then it will tell you your code. Well, it told me that it was a P0442. Uh, I looked that up on Google and it said basically it could be a number of different things. And I've actually had this same code pop up before in the past. And last time it was up under near the gas tank uh, back here. Uh, you can see uh, right here by the gas tank. If you go straight down, there's a box down underneath there. I don't know exactly. Uh, what they call that, but it's got a couple of hoses that run into it. It's something to do with the EVAP system. Uh, and these rubber hoses, they're soft rubber hoses, and they get brittle over time, and the ends of them crack where they go up over the fitting. So uh, inspect all your hoses is one of the first things you want to do. And really the most common, the easiest thing to do, especially if you've just uh, recently gotten fuel, is check your gas cap. Uh, pop your gas cap off, make sure that it's clean, you know, look at the o-ring, visually inspect the o-ring inside of there, make sure it's okay, and most importantly, just make sure the thing's on there nice and tight because these uh, EVAP systems are so sensitive that if you have a loose gas cap, that'll trigger your check engine light to come on. So, uh, I've already been up underneath the truck a day or two ago. I thought it was those same hoses, so I went in there and trimmed them all off and stuck them back on. and. Uh, that it went off for uh, about about a day and then it came back on so I started looking around under the hood uh, because these hoses they run from the fuel tank all the way up here under the hood and if you look right down here let's see if I can hold that still for you there right here there's a split kind of get it in the sun there well you can see there's a split there on the end of that T. That's kind of what they do. Anywhere they hook on, uh, that rubber, you know, from hot and cold over the years, it fatigues and gets brittle and dried out and it splits right there wherever it goes up over the barb. So I'm going to cut this off, uh, you know, cut it back to about here, let's say, and until I get nice and good hose again. And then I'm going to connect it back together and reset uh, the way you reset on this vehicle is you disconnect the battery I usually do it for about 10 minutes so I'm fixing to disconnect the battery and redo that hose there clear my code and I think that's going to take care of it for this repair but yeah that's one of the things to check for it goes all these hoses go into a charcoal canister I believe is what this is up underneath here and I can't really get you a good picture of it but uh, this larger hose here <coughs> excuse me this larger hose and this smaller hose. At some point they transition over uh, to a hard line and anywhere they make a connection there's a possibility for a leak. So uh, that's there's also a whole number of other things that it could be there. Uh, that charcoal canister could be full of, uh, could just be full of gas or full of fumes or whatever it is and just clogged up or whatever. So there's, there's other things it could be. But this is where I start out, the most logical, easy things, gas cap, and check all the hoses. So hopefully uh, this helps you guys out. And uh, I was able to go on to Google and find other things that it could be. There's some other, uh, like a solenoid valve inside of there of some kind. It could be that. So, But anyways, like I said, I'm starting out with the logical stuff. These things are that sensitive that if a little bitty split like that can cause the thing to trigger the uh, check engine light. So, all right, guys, good luck.